Well, I thought we uh, we generated quite a bit. I mean, we outshot them. Uh, I think we had 35 shots or close to it. So we generated a lot of shots. Uh, it's all you can ask for. We wanted to get the puck to the net, and we did. And uh, you know, we they, they capitalized on a few opportunities, a few odd man rushes against. And you know, we just uh, it is what it is. If PC gets his goal called off, Spencer Abbott nails a crossbar. Uh, how does that affect kind of the team dynamic, how they, the feeling on the ice? How does that change things? Um, yeah, PC had a nice net drive to the net, wide speed. I thought he played well tonight. Um, he's on the puck. He got some chances. Um, you know, like, uh, it is, you know, unfortunate call, whatever, probably the right call. Um, and then, yeah, Abbott gets a nice rebound off the power play. The puck was uh, bouncing, and he, and he got as much as he could and hit the crossbar. I think that would have made it 3-2 at the time. We had some momentum. I thought we played a really good uh, last 10 minutes of the second period. We hemmed them in. We had our D were active, and we had some chances. And, uh, you know, we gave it as, as much as we could there and put a little bit of a push in the second period. And uh, pretty unusual as far as penalties went. Each team only got called once. You guys uh, scored on the power play five seconds after that penalty was called, and then Seuss was only in the box for a minute at the end. How does always playing at even strength kind of change your game plan? Well, it's nice. You know, it's uh, five on five hockey. I mean, we're not, number wise, we're not a good five on five hockey team right now. We give up more goals than we get. But uh, I thought the power play, we won the face off on the power play. We got the puck to the net right away, like we talk about a lot, and, and then we got a rebound. And uh, I mean, that's how you have to score goals, especially the way we're built right now. We we have to get the ugly ones. We have to be at the net. Uh, you know, we have to tips, rebounds, screens, all that good stuff. But um, you know, credit to Chicago. They uh, they pounced on a couple opportunities in the first period and uh, capitalized and, and got us on our. You know, they got the lead on us and. Uh, you know, we tried our best to hang in there. It just wasn't enough. You know, two more games at home before heading on the road again to Austin. Uh, what do you see as, like, the biggest need for improvement to get uh, these next two wins? Um, areas of improvement. Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't like the first two goals of the game. Um, they were breakdowns for us. We didn't get the puck out on the boards once. Our, uh, we had the slot was wide open. Um, you know, they kept it in off the backboards, bang, shot, goal. Um, another one was uh, they dumped the puck in. We came back onto it. Uh, Vic came back onto the puck. Uh, we didn't cover the slot area as, as a group of wingers, and we, uh, we were on the boards, and we weren't covering the middle of the ice like we talk about a lot, and uh, they won the puck battle. They centered it, and they scored. So those two things are easily correctable. Um, we've been really good at that for the most part this year, playing away from the puck and our defensive responsibility. So that was disappointing. But, uh, you know, our, mor our morale, our team spirit's down right now. Um, you know, we, have, uh, we haven't won a game in five. Um, there's some guys that have to be better. There's some guys that are minus nine, minus 10, minus 11 on the season. And we're talking about guys that played in the NHL last year. So... Uh, they got to take a little more pride in their individual games themselves and hold themselves a little more accountable or it's going to be a, a real long season.